Shalom, brothers and sisters. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you. From Yahuwah, our Father, and Yahusha, he is the Mashiach, the one that carries the burden of Yah, his voice, our High Priest, soon coming King. Hear, O Yeshua, Yahuwah, who is our Mighty One, he is one. There is no other mighty one in existence than Yahuwah and Yahusha is his voice. This is Brother Dawood coming to you again to bring you the solution. For what? The reality check. The atonement. Part 9. Every year, in the seventh month, the children of Yesharal had to afflict their souls to atone for their transgressions of the law. The high priest would be before the Holy of Holies, see the image supplied. This is the temple in Tel Arad. This is the pattern that is set in heaven. The priest would offer up the blood of bulls and goats. In this day, the bull, for him to enter into the Holy of Holy, and the goats to cleanse the children of Yeshara. Note, this statute is forever. It is the reason that the Father chose a high priest to take care of his part of the covenant. And this high priest is in the heavens, making continual intercession on your behalf. So if the law is abolished, if there is no law, then there is no forgiveness of sins. Let's begin. Devarim, you would say Deuteronomy, chapter 30, 1 to 3. In chapter 28, we found that we were taken away in ships. In order to return, this is what we have to do. 1. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon you, the blessing and the curse, we already experienced the blessing. We were in the land. We were above all people on the earth. Now we're in the land of our captivity, suffering the curse, which I set before you. He gave us a choice, life or death. We chose death. And you shall call them to mind among the nations whither Yahuwah, your Alayak, have driven you. Isn't that what we're doing right now? Reality check. 2. And shall return unto Yahuwah your Aliyah, and shall obey his voice, Yahusha Hamashaya, according to all that I command you this day, the law, statutes, judgments, and commandments, you and your children, with all of your heart and with all of your soul. He wants all of you. 3. Then, Yahuwah, your Alayak, will turn your captivity. Isn't it amazing? The only people on earth who have been in the land of their captivity for over 400 years, uh-huh, is us, and have compassion upon you, and will return and gather you from all the nations where Yahuwah, your Alayak, have scattered you in ships. And before that, they were scattered all around the region. Okay, so now we see what we must do to return. Let's see if it changed in the New Testament. But taught Yahu, you would say Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17 to 20. 17. 
Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Who's speaking? The voice. Yahusha Hamashaya. Why did he say he didn't come to destroy the law? Well, down through the centuries, the Gentiles and their doctrinal principles would say that the law is abolished through J.C. or the prophets. Why did he say the prophets? Because the prophets spoke one thing. Return to the law and live. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. How is he fulfilling the law? He is a high priest, the one chosen by Yah to enter into the heavens to make atonement for us. 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass away, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. Two questions. Has heaven and earth passed away? You're still breathing, right? So that means no. Is all fulfilled? Has he come back and gathered his people? Brought them into the promised land? You saw Satan chained and thrown into the bottomless pit, the thousand-year reign. Did you see the great city come down from the heavens? So all is not fulfilled. Guess what that means? You still have to keep the law. 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least of these commandments and shall teach men so, he's just talking about the least of the commandments. He's not talking about the ones that lead to death. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. He's speaking to the audience that is there. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The voice that you're listening to today is going to be a great voice in the kingdom of heaven. 20. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so he's talking about us. How is that possible? The scribes and the Pharisees were teachers of the law. They kept the law to the letter. What was missing? The high priest. The sacrifices had ceased, no atonement, no cleansing for the people. Enter in, Yahusha HaMashiach, to be the high priest, to make atonement for us. Revelation, the unveiling, Chapter 22, verse 14, the last book in the Bible. Let's see what it says. 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. What's the opposite of blessed? Cursed, if you don't. That they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates of the city. Only they have the right to eternal life and enter in through the gates of the city. 15. For without are dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, and whosoever loveth to make a lie. Everything in the Ten Commandments is right here in verse 15. What is the solution? The Day of Atonement in the seventh month. Participate with us. The instructions are coming next. I'll make a series on the Day of Atonement in the seventh month. Remember this, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Shalom.